Court's uh, final new petition today, there are other petitions, uh, but Petition 1247 is by Stuart Mackenzie calling on this Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to introduce a Mackenzie Friend facility in Scottish Courts as a matter of urgency. Um, I th Margot, I think this is a petition that you have expressed interest in, so you may wish to comment on it. So petition is here. Margot, can we maybe invite you in at the moment um, on this particular petition? Is there any? Okay, there you go. Well, thank you, Chair. Um, I have been interested in lay representation in the Scottish courts for a while, arising out of the failure of uh, Scots law to enact a provision which has been running successfully in England for, I think, about 20 years now. Uh, that allows professional representation rather than legal representation in a very, very complex technical case, such as a fraud, uh, fraud case, perhaps, or um, a construction case where you have to have a knowledge of the construction industry and so on. And there's a system of registration whereby uh, companies may apply to be registered. Only two or three have in England, in fact, but the system works because you, there aren't all that many uh, cases of such complexity going through the courts every year, and there would be even fewer in Scotland. However, we have failed to enact this legislation, and I haven't yet been given a satisfactory explanation as to why. Now I find that in uh, civil courts and in matters of um, perhaps uh, a small debt being or having to be rescheduled in a court, that the the person whose debt is to be rescheduled can find it impossible to get legal representation. And it could be that perhaps they can't afford legal representation in a more complex action. And they have to go into court and represent themselves. Now, once again in England for the last, I think, 39 years, a system known as Mackenzie's Friends has been operational. This allows the person defending themselves to be supported, aid, aided and um, backed up generally, either with expert information or simple help. In, uh, for example, my papers are all spread out here. If I start really shaking, you'll see why it would be quite handy for me to have a Mackenzie's friend here to fix the papers for me. And that's the situation that's an qualified person can find themselves in in court. That's the sort of function that a Mackenzie's friend might fulfil. And the, the, the petition is backed by which magazine and by the Consumers Association. I've also looked at the European Convention of Human Rights, and it would appear to be backed by that also, some heavy duty uh, support for it, because the Convention of Human Rights says that the principle of equality of arms, meaning that a party must be able to put forward his arguments in conditions such that he is not put at a considerable disadvantage vis-à-vis -vis the other side. Well, if you're unrepresented in a court, you are at a disadvantage to start off with. And the disadvantage is made considerable if you're denied the sort of practical support that I've asked for. So, in essence, Mr Mackenzie's petition asks that the Scottish Court should incorporate the principle and the facility of Mackenzie's Friends ASAP. And Lord Gill looks as though he actually supports the idea. So I think it's a serious runner for consideration by this committee for support. Thank you, thanks so much, Margot. Um, any comments? Robin and then Nigel. That's convenient. I'd be very happy to be Margot's Mackenzie friend at any time. <laughs> um, uh, I, this, this Charm seems... Robin, aren't you? <laughs> Silver fox there, you know. Okay. Um, this seems such an, uh, uh, an obviously good idea and common sense idea that um, I, I, I think we must con continue it. Um, I think we should ask the Scottish Government directly whether it will introduce a Mackenzie Fern facility in Scottish courts, and if not, why not? Um, and will this uh, matter be part of the eighth programme of law reform to be held by the Scottish Law Constitution uh, Commission. Um, we could also ask a number of 
other institutions as well, the Law Society, the Faculty of Advocates, the Lord President of the Court of Session, the Scottish Court Service, the Citizens of Vice Scotland, the Money of Vice Scotland and the Scottish Consumer Council as to whether they would support the introduction of a Mackenzie Friend facility and if not, why not? Okay. Thank you very much, Robin. Okay, um, I know that Nigel and then Bill. Thank you, Gavrina. Um, it's worth just, just noting um, that, of course, <coughs> Pardon me, the introduction of Mackenzie's Friend was not something which the British government brought in. It was actually something which the courts themselves simply allowed and went to the Court of Appeal. Um, and the Court of Appeal has said, yes, you should do it. Um, I would point members, if they are looking for uh, anything to, 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 to help them on this, there was a, a wonderful review by a Robin Spon Smith I found on the internet. It's dated about 2006. It's really quite comprehensive, and it shows how the, the law has developed in England and Wales. Um, and it indicates, I think, quite clearly how it could develop in Scotland. But as I say, we don't, I mean, I'm sure we want to talk to the government, and I'm sure we would want to write to the Lord President, but it is, in fact, open to the court simply to do this. They do not need to be told. Uh, it's plainly open to them. And I think we probably just need to encourage them to do it. And if Lord Gill, in his review, is also going to encourage them to do it, then, again, I don't think you'll find it actually needs anything done, other than perhaps a nod from the Lord President. Can I maybe get a lot of things, Margot, you can come back to that, okay? Okay, Bill. Yeah, thanks, Convener. I mean, I know that um, at small claims hearings and certain sheriff court procedures, um, there are parties able to come in and speak on behalf uh, of those um, folk who are in that situation. But Mackenzie friends, do they work, Margot? What is the evidence that they work as a support? And I know it's simply superfluous. If I may be devil's advocate, is there any evidence? From England, yes. Uh -huh. From England. Could, could, you, could you specify? You were wanting to come in on as well, Margo. If you want to respond to that point, and then also the point that you were intending to come in before I gently cut you off. Yes, it's simply the reason for doing something was in response to Nigel Dawn. Uh, the reason for doing something is uh, because there's been such a time lag in implementing the, the other re recommendation which has been running successfully in England for lay professional or lay expert representation in court rather than legal professional representation. Uh, so there's some evidence, there's some form there in this matter in the Scottish courts or Scottish system it would appear. That's why. But as to the evidence for it working, it's been going for 39 years quite successfully in England. Against uh, asking the questions that Robin has asked, but I just wonder about the evidential basis, that's all. Oh, um, thankfully, it's not up to me to find the evidential basis in written form, but if you want it, I'll make sure that Mr Mackenzie knows that the committee would like to see it. But I think it's, it's self-evident that in England there's there's no complaint, it's accepted and it happens. Okay. Andrew? Thank you, Convener. Can I just come back in just to make the point to Bill Butler and anybody else? This is not about representation. This is not about putting somebody else's case. They put the case. Mackenzie's friend is simply the person who sits alongside, as Margot says, keeps the papers in order, nuds, suggests, gives advice and help and encouragement. It is not about advocacy which is a separate debate we've already had very recently, actually, on this committee. Okay, any other comments from members of the committee? Then, if you see these are suggestions, I think we can explore issues. I mean, judging from what Nigel commented on about, you know, the, the framework in terms of the courts themselves. So you were suggesting perhaps the Lord Chancellor uh, Department in and Department in, in England to try and maybe explore their experience of this and also their observations on it that may help some of the dialogue that, that Bill was understandably raising. Um, I think that's going to be helpful, the suggestions Robin's made as well. Um, Margo, any final comments? No, I think that the, the, the committee is aware of it. They see, I think, the, the common sense in it. Um, but I also sense that the committee wants to know that it's not superfluous uh, to requirements. And I think that can be demonstrated. Okay, can I thank Margo for presence on this particular item? Can I take a couple of minutes come for a break, quick quality, and then we'll move on to the range of existing petitions. Okay, thank you for your time.